Hey guys, it's me. This is a series of videos that I'm doing to help people that want to get into retro streaming, retro gaming. This video I wanted to cover setting up OBS with your game, your input or whatever. And so it's actually pretty simple. Once you've got everything set up, or like your emulators or your game or whatever, you can usually do it pretty easily. So for those that may not know, on grabbing like your emulator output, your stream output, or whatever from your capture card. So the emulator is the easiest one to set up, so I'll probably leave that one for later. But um You've got a number of options for like your capture cards. So depending on your operating system or your setup, you'll generally have this capture device right here. Mine says like V4L2, but that's because I'm on Linux. Um, but it'll sort those out that way. So it'll come up, you can name it like capture or legato and do it that way and then it'll give you the option to pick like your device so for example mine has a webcam i don't have a capture card right now but it'll let you do that you can mess with the video format if yours is slightly different so it's got a couple different formats for me right here but sometimes you'll have to kind of play with that to kind of get the colors right and everything else if it's got multiple inputs you can decide which one or set that up so you can decide to spin the resolution down or you can mess with these settings as you feel and kind of experiment with it is what i'll recommend to kind of see what that best fits give you the best color output Let's see i will remove legato and so if your video output doesn't render your audio then what you can do is you can get like your audio capture device and select that or whatever. Mine has a number of them right here. <coughs> Let's go with... I don't know if I want to mess with that because I might be echoing myself. But generally what you'll have you can have these options like if i go into properties it'll let me pick which one i want to pull from and then i can go into filters and add a number of filters so if i want to mess with a little bit if i want to put a noise gate in because like my background is noisy and i want to avoid getting that every time it comes up i can set it so that it'll shut stop capturing it certain volume levels and then once it passes that it'll do that or i can do noise suppression things like that um so for like my mic here if i go into filters you can see i have a noise gate and i set those up differently again that's one of those things you want to experiment with to see um what works and what doesn't if i go into advanced audio properties here so what i can do what I have set up right now is my mic kind of spins everything down and levels it down to a mono audio signal so you're not getting the stereo. So you're not like hearing me better in the like right ear or left ear or whatever. But I can also balance that out otherwise. And then I can turn on audio monitoring, which will let me like set it up so that it'll go to the desktop audio. Or I can set it up so that I can hear it within my headset and everything else that way. <coughs> so, let's see, let me. So, if I. So, that's one thing you can do. So, if I pull up, let's go with MGBA. Let's see. Open. Let's open that one. OK. 
Okay, so if I wanted to add MGBA to my scene, or this particular one, what I could do now, I could go into Window Capture. It'll be different depending on your system. I can go example. So I can pick up the number of whichever window. It'll give you this list of windows. So I pick MGBA. And sometimes what you'll need to do, because the colors will be off, is swap red and blue. Um, it's showing black and white right now. But can I get it to... Yes. Okay, so I need it. So if you see, like, the tools... Let me... Actually enlarge that so that you can see it. I enlarge that. Center it. Go into properties. So if I mouse over that, you can see that... Um... It's got like that teal color with my theming. So if I go swap red and blue, it should render it that funky puke yellow color. So sometimes you'll need to mess with that in order to get it to display right, the colors right. Um, so you can, in this case, you can include the window border with it as well. So if I do that, all it does is it increases it a little bit because my window border is super small. If I click off of that, you can see that it lights up on there as well, which I usually don't include that. So another thing you might want to do is to get rid of this like top bar here. What you can do is you can crop, it gives you the option to crop pixels off. So if I can play around with that and get just the right setting so that it doesn't show that top bar there. So now it's just the like display window itself. So I can, if I am messing with another like window screen, I can crop 10 off the side, 15 on the other side, and like 20 at the bottom. And it'll let me do that as well. And when I was looking at, oh, the video input, it doesn't quite seem to let you do that with the video input, but you've got other options that you can work with to get the video input to look like it's cropped. So you can use like fancy overlay images. So if I add an image, I can go and I can browse for, where is it? Do I have a Game Boy one? I should. Yes, I don't. Where did it go? I don't know. I had one. Let me go with... Oh, I'm in the wrong folder. That's why. Pictures. Okay, so if I pick this one, you can see that I've got like this nice overlay that I'm messing with. If I pick up the MGBA output, I can actually resize it so that it can fit in here. So I can actually set it up. As you can see, I still have the toolbar up there. But if I set my layering right, I can get it to look like that that trim isn't there. So when I go to change the order, you can see that it overlays like this. Whereas I can go like that, and it'll be under it, and it'll look cleaner. And then I can go through and add, let's add another image to the side, just for fun. Try and pick an appropriate one. I can do that. Set it so that it's in the background, and now I've got a fancy background with my really nice border. 
and then you can do that for other images and stuff. So let's say you want to add alerts or something like that. So one of your options is to get a browser plugin and that, that lets you do it. Or if you're using Streamlabs OBS, it'll do it for you automatically or any other of those other branches. So what you can do then is you can put in a URL to where your alerts are. Actually, let's do. It'll load eventually, but I can set that up. I've already got an alerts set up, so yes, I will remove that. I go into add QT WebKit browser. That's the one. Okay, so I add existing browser. So now I can go in like this. I log into Streamlabs now. Log in, authorize. You, I can use alerts now, and you can see that it pops up in the box there. So yeah, that is setting up OBS for your streams. My This setup is simple looking, but I mean, it kind of gets out of the way and lets everyone enjoy the gameplay. Some people have like their different scenes for everything. Yeah. When I go into my settings, general, let me clear this out. So, this is kind of what my setup looks with Sans Emulator. So you can see that it's got like a couple images off to the side and everything else. This is like the Game Boy Advance one. It looks pretty empty, but like once I start like showing things like my BRB stuff, it all makes sense. So if I pull up that open, it not might not be seeing that. So if I Actually, let me open. Oh, why it's being that? Okay. If I open glazed up, I might have to reset it to properties. Sometimes you'll have to do this. It won't see it, so you'll have to go in and change it again. But you can see that the emulator shows, and there's really nothing around it. It's just the game itself. Um, this one does not have alerts set up on it, but I do have it set up, as you can see, for RetroArch as well. So I could run that and feasibly have it in there too. But yeah, that is setting up OBS. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, leave a like, leave a comment. You can join the Zexy Discord and join other gamers and streamers that way. My Discord will be down there too. You can join that. And if you like what I do, you can support me on Patreon, Subscribestar, and those other options. Thanks for watching.